I enjoy chatting with you. <laughs> yeah. Is remove the curse. Let's go. The end. Of Okie dokie. <laughs> what the fuck? I, I <laughs> Since we've got a historical adventurer on our hands, Paimon thinks we should pay a visit to the Adventurer's Guild. Does the Adventurer's Guild have archives? Hello, Blob. Oh, there we go. Our records show that there have been many adventurers by that name over the no years. <laughs> it yes. is impossible to know which <laughs> one you refer to. By looking the other way. However, I do recall the that oh. there is a book in the <laughs> library authored by someone called Leonard. Perhaps you should take a look? Okay. Check the catalog. Author Leonard. Where are you, Leonard? Aha! Gotcha! The index go. says that Leonard's book should be in the northwest corner on the top floor of the library. Yo, this library is too... Northwest oh, corner. God, right, right should be right over there. This place is too big for me to look in one plate. Oh. What if I could just go around stealing books? <laughs> is that a bad thing? No, it's not a bad thing. Of Mountains and Seas, a guide for adventurers written by Leonard. But <laughs> Whoa, the words have okay, faded, um, and there are even pages missing. Dangerous. Forgive Paimon's my appearance. Got no hope of reading this. And then young folks, mountains, somewhere they body and mind perfectly the next mountain challenges. What? Darn. Maybe we're just wasting our time on this one. Oh, right! Yeah, Mona! She might have a better idea! I feel it's encrypted. Time to teleport. The great tree. Look what we That's found! Cool. Leonard wrote a book! Yes. Ooh, let me see. Here you go, Mona. I give you nothing. <laughs> There's nothing in my hand. Here you go. <laughs> I could have predicted as much. Your mm. average astrologist would definitely give up at this point. Okay, but Mona, I yeah, am Mona, good. progenitor of the future of astrology. Jesus Christ, Nothing can stand in my way. I simply need to deduce the missing portions with my astrolabe, write them in, and then decipher the text. You know, sometimes I wonder if my, my character's face ever changes. <laughs> so the place known as Pylos Peak in Leonard's Day is today known as Musk Reef. The Reef. Damn, bro, she's smart. Um, let's go there. See where this goes. Oh. So, this is Pylos Peak. Not much to show for itself now, eh? True. Looks like someone beat us here. Is this like oh, my a God, popular Sam. tourist Please don't tell me I got, I got, or... I got a fight. Oh, no. If I got to fight him. <sighs> Scar Rumuche. Huh? I'll just call you Scar. You again. True. Look at the state he's in. Was he in that dream just now? He managed to extricate himself from the dream on his own strength? How is that possible? He's a Fatui, man. <laughs> just because you are powerless to do something does not mean that <laughs> I, I am. Pose. <laughs> just because you're powerless. <laughs> you're too late anyway. I finished my research. So a little bit running around, you know. We knew it! This was all a dirty trick by the Fatui! Yep. Save it! No more fun and games for me today. I'll come for you when I'm good and ready. Oh, so he's not you fighting entered me, the dream right. they've all been having, didn't you? How much do you know about Leonard? Leonard? Who's Leonard? Ah, uh, whatever. I have bigger fish to fry. I've okay. discovered something far more important. And far more terrifying. What? what? The stars, the sky, it's all a gigantic hoax. What? Uh, the stars are a lie. <laughs> what are you talking about? True. Is this some kind of astrological debate between you and Mona? Because if so, surely you can come up with a better argument than the stars are a lie. Seriously, who's gonna fall for that one when you can just lift your head up at night and see them up there twinkling away? Mm. <laughs> 
<laughs> you are so naive, it kills me. He is twisted as hell. Still, can't really blame you. After all, I used to believe the same thing myself. Up until a few moments ago, that is. Huh? A few moments ago? You mean... Look, I really don't have the time to do this right now. What was the Jester thinking? He must have had some inkling of what we might discover on this mission. Would it really have been so difficult to give me a little forewarning? Hmm. Well, maybe he just wanted to give me a fright. Mm -hmm. Time for me to go out and find the truth. So long, suckers. Bruh. Oh, can weird. you believe that guy? Wait, he I calls know? us suckers and then he just trots off. What the fuck? No one disrespects me. No one. Well, oh. we Time damage. to show them what you get when you cross oh, world class genius with pure, let's unadulterated go. rage. <laughs> Shadows of fate. Go. We're doing stuff, let's go. And if I have more, I can I mean, I was not to go low to go, you know. Stand clear. Animo test 6308. Then we do the same amount of damage. Wow. You fought so fiercely. Sure, Told you. you. That's what happens when you disrespect me. Hmm. You bet I am. Paimon, you agree too, right? Did I show those Fatui who's boss or what? <laughs> sure did. Without you here, those guys would have caused us a whole lot more trouble. No, I could have probably See? had them alone. How do you like that, Harbinger? Scumbag. <laughs> he seemed genuinely shaken, though. Mm. I don't think he was lying. I was always taught to talk about the false sky during astrological readings. Could there be more to such phrases than I have been led to believe? <laughs> I digress. Come on, let's finish the job we came to do. Yes. Destroy the core. Bro, so one second. Whoa! This must be the core! It looks totally different from all the other meteorites. True. It's way more this is like shiny. The, the main core. This stone harbors an unbelievable amount of elemental energy and human desire. It's the core, all right? Now yes. What do we do? Otherwise, the victims will never wake up. This core is the root cause of everything that has happened. Huh. Hmm. Do it. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Alright, fine, let's do it. Whoa, okay, okay. With ropes, we can scale mountains. With boats, we can sail the seas. By age 40, I had conquered every last domain. Pylos Peak alone defeated me. As an adventurer, and well, Maybe in other ways, too. Now, I am approaching the end of my life. Many times I have sat and stared up at that peak as the boundless snow slowly engulfed me. It is a beast without weakness. The merciless face of the world. It fills me with fear. And when an adventurer loses courage, they can no longer climb mountains. My mountaineering days may be over, but I have a greater ambition now. Humans create tools to conquer nature, and when nature conquers them in return, they create better tools. Where our legs cannot take us, maybe our tools can. And when tools fail us, perhaps wings can carry us instead. My dear friend, I leave you my designs for the wings of incompletion. Against the unknown, humanity stands as one. To be alive is to seek, to set foot in every place that the eye can see. I have little time remaining. 
though the wind has not yet come for my soul. But between us and your children, students, and friends, I believe that someone will reach that place at last. Oh wow, that, that was amazing. So he wow. created the wings. Wow. Well, that Indeed. was unexpected. <sighs> Who okay. would have thought that human will can survive in the skies for millennia on end? Astrology really is an incredible thing. Uh, what makes you say that? The ability to communicate with the stars can give you access to all the secrets from throughout human history. I still can't believe you created the wings, Well, of man. course, That's very so cool. few astrologists ever reach that level. Uh, what's with the formal tone all of a sudden? And speaking of formal tone, what is the deal with that girl, Fischl? She's a curious one. Paimon thinks so, too. She's so... How to put this? Yeah. Although, if you think about it, it seems she was right all along. Is mm. she one of these people who uses the wrong method but still gets the right answer? Maybe. You may well be right. Even so, Paimon thinks that the most surprising thing of all was how Pylos Peak turned into a teeny tiny little island. True. A mountain of yesteryear now sits as an island in the sea. Almost anyone from Mondstadt could reach it now just by jumping in a boat. Yeah. In other words, everyone can climb Pylos Peak now. Do you think... Leonard would be happy about it. The situation with Pylos Peak might be a bit of a shock. But now, with the help of the Animal Archon, the people of Mondstadt are able to glide. With wings, people can travel further and higher than ever before and explore new and unknown places. The victims should finally start waking up now that we've dealt with the core. Yep. And we have finally finished our commission from the Adventurer's Guild. He has the one expression, is just a smile. He's almost smiling, just like, ha. Huh. Ah, and that's it. Alright, well that's the end of the stream and the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Mm -hmm.